time to review the new Spellcrow products that I was recently sent. Nick speaking, and welcome to this video. Right, time to review the new Spellcrow products that I've recently received. Now I've had Spellcrow stuff before and it's always been awesome, so I'm expecting the same from this batch as well. Um, but as requested by Spellcrow, um, this is gonna be an honest and open review, so I'm gonna say exactly what I think of the products. Uh, now there's gonna be a link to the Spellcrow website uh, in the description below. Head on over and check them out. You can see all these products I'm reviewing today, uh, plus all the other fantastic products which they've got on the website. Right, okay, so let's go table down and have a closer look at these products. Okay, so let's have a look at some of these products that I've got. Uh, now, I did make a bit of an error in the unboxing video, uh, mainly because I'm totally incompetent. <laughs> um, but no, basically, um, every time I said chaos in the last video, um, I was actually looking at Black Templar bits. Um, and a lot of these new bits that uh, Spellcrow have produced are actually for Black Templars. Um, so if you've got a Black Templar army or you're thinking about doing one, uh, you should definitely stay tuned because we're gonna have a closer look at uh, what we've got. So I've uh, bagged up all the individual components. Uh, so I'm gonna take them out of the bag and we'll have a closer look. Okay, so these are all the Black Templar bits, um, and I have to say, um, I think these are awesome. Um, I've obviously reviewed some of the Spellcrow stuff before, and these are new products for them. Uh, but I have to be honest, I think that these casts are even higher quality uh, than the previous ones that I've had. So uh, let's zoom in and just have a closer look at some of these. So first of all... We've got some Black Templar shields. We call them heavy shields. So I'm assuming these are uh, Terminator shields. Uh, there's two sets of these. So actually there's six different shields in total. Um, and the detail is just amazing. And they've got obviously the Templar's cross on there along with loads of other tabards and bits and pieces. Um, just so detailed, they look really, really cool. And you can tell quite easily that uh, they're on scale for obviously our Black Templars uh, Marines. So really, really cool. So that's the shields. Uh, they've got some Rhino doors or light vehicles as they call them, but yeah, basically a top hatch. Um, now one of these uh, doors here were slightly bent. Um, so what I did is I got a hairdryer, I tried the hairdryer technique, I just heated it up with the hairdryer, uh, I bent it back into shape, I just ran it under some cold water um, and it's, it's absolutely perfectly straight. So um, it's very easy to manipulate uh, which is really really good so uh, that's nice to see and uh, how cool are those top doors. Now you also get these extra little uh, bits and pieces on here as well so it so really put some extra detail on your tanks. So really, really cool, liking that a lot. Um, and there's to go side, alongside that uh, some side hatches as well. Again, loads and loads of details on here. And obviously the Black Templars little cross. So very, very cool. They've got conversion bits for the models as well. So we've got some specialized heads uh, just on the sprue there. And again, I mean, the, the just having a look here, I can't actually pretty much see any mould lines at all. I mean, it needs a little bit of cleaning up, but uh, the quality is absolutely amazing on these. So that's the little heads. We've also got some torsos. Uh, these are two sets of five, five torsos. And they've got the chains and the skulls and the little Black Templar symbols and stuff on there as well. Just highly detailed. Really, really cool. So that's them. And then we've got some tabards. Again, there's two sets of five here. Um, but these are obviously specifically designed for Black Templars. So all the Black Templar stuff, um, very, very impressed. The quality is absolutely tremendous. I mean, you can't get any better really than that. It's really, really well detailed and hardly Hardly a mould line in sight, so massive thumbs up for that. Okay, let's have a look at the non-Black Templar stuff that I've got. 
So I received some more side hatches uh, for light vehicles, basically rhinos, um, Razorbacks, etc. Um, and there's a Gothic one and what they call a Space Knight one, which is basically Space Marines. So let's have a closer look at those. Okay, so there you go, that's them too. Um, and again, just an amazing amount of detail. These look so cool. Uh, that's obviously the Space Marine ones. These ones here, um, the Gothic ones, I'm assuming are for sisters. Uh, they've got those sort of gothic window archway things. Um, again, just really, really cool. And um, I mean, there's no warping on these, but as I said, if there was, it wouldn't worry me because I've now experimented, and as I said, they, they warp back into, into shape quite easily. Uh, but to be fair, that Rhino door, uh, that I sh the top hatch that I showed you earlier, that's the only product that had any warping on out of all of the stuff that I've received from Spellcrow. Uh, so it's, you know, promising stuff. Right, uh, the next one is this, and this is an Imperial Knight weapon. Right, there's the weapon. Now I have to be honest, I don't know too much about Imperial Knights, I've never owned one. Um, and although I did a good search on the Spellcrow website, for some reason I couldn't find this on the website. So I can't tell you exactly what gun it is supposed to be. Um, I'm sure you Imperial Knight players will know exactly uh, the gun that it is, uh, but what I can tell you is that the detail once again is awesome. Um, hardly a mould line in sight, really really crisp um, material and uh, if you did want to drill out the holes in here, um, I can tell you from previous experimentation with this Velcro stuff that you could easily just drill out the, the gun barrels, which I'm assuming they're gun barrels there. Um, yeah, so Imperial Knight Gun, um, again a thumbs up, even though I'm not 100% sure exactly which gun it is. And the last thing they sent me is the 28mm defence line, or a part of it, and also a 28mm uh, shooting position uh, platform. So let's have a closer look at those. Okay, so this is the defence line. Uh, now this is just one section from the defence line, um, and it's one big solid piece of resin. Um, the, the detail is just awesome. Uh, once again, it's got this sort of wooden fence design, and you can really see all of the, the grooves and knots and stuff in the wood. Now, it doesn't necessarily look very sci-fi orientated to me. I think it potentially could work really well, maybe games like Bolt Action or something. Um, but it's nice having this sort of bunker uh, design here, where obviously this is uh, textured to so look like sand and stuff. Um, and I could imagine a whole row of these, like a trench, uh, to look really, really cool. Um, so yeah, that's that section. Let's just have a look at the shooting position. Okay, so that's the shooting position as it's being called, it's basically like a gun emplacement. Um, actually, it's exactly the same design as the defense line that I just showed you. So it's got the sort of wooden defense design. This is made in two sections. Um, and indeed, if I just zoom out a little, if we bring this platform in, um, there's quite a lot of things that you can do with this. Um, so it's obviously designed to be interchangeable. Um, and I think I had it like this just a second ago. So I'd imagine if you've got a lot of these, um, it would look really, really cool together. And actual fact, I'm just having a look, the board matches up perfectly, um, the plank of the, the wood. So I think um, they are actually designed to be interchangeable. Um, but once again, really, really cool. Um, I think that'd be fantastic on a, some form of trench uh, stroke bolt action type board. As I said, I don't know how sci-fi it's looking with the wooden planks. Um, but it certainly is very, very cool. Okay, so that is my review for the Spellcrow new products that I was sent. Um, I have to be honest, it's a huge, huge thumbs up. I mean, these are absolutely awesome, love them. Uh, so if you are interested in getting some of these yourself, then head on over to the Spellcrow website. Uh, go and check them out. There's a link in the description below. Uh, yeah, go and have a look. Okay, so that's it for me. Uh, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Please hit the bell button so you don't miss out on any uploads of the wonders of Warhammer 40K. And I'll see you in the next video.